In 1990, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory was awarded to Florida State University. In less than four years, the laboratory had broken its first world record with a home-built 27 Tesla magnet. In the wake of that success, a host of national, state, and local dignitaries convened in October 1994 in Tallahassee to officially dedicate the one-of-a-kind facility. Today's ceremony formally recognizes the world-class science being conducted in our universities as well as the scientists who perform it. Representatives from the lab's three sites, Florida State University, the University of Florida, and Los Alamos National Lab, praised the laboratory's unique multi-state partnership. It's a great day for Florida State University, the University of Florida, and our colleagues at Los Alamos National Laboratory, which have worked closely together to create this laboratory and conduct world-class science in the highest magnetic fields ever produced in the world. Science is an expensive business. It requires us to invest in great facilities such as this, and it requires us to have a vision that will extend beyond the lifetime of any individual politician, any individual administrator. We've developed a model which has worked very well for this state university system, and we hope for science around the world. That model requires sound scholarship and creative ideas, coupled with state, federal, and private resources. When such partnerships are formed, the frontiers of human knowledge are advanced, and society reaps the twin rewards of understanding and application. The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory is a model for future state and federal collaborations to support education, science, and economic competitiveness. The National High Magnetic Field Laboratory represents a groundbreaking partnership between the State of Florida and the National Science Foundation. At the dedication ceremony, Governor Lawton Childs, U.S. Senator Bob Graham, and National Science Foundation Director Eric Block lauded the pioneering collaboration. But I also want to highlight how this facility reflects our growing awareness of the direct relationship that exists among science, technology, economic growth, and the nation's competitiveness. Vice President Al Gore summarized the MagLab's story. This is an amazing story that is nearing its uh, completion here with this dedication of a legislature that saw the benefits to the people of Florida and was willing to spend money even in a recession. It is the story of a university willing to hire a Nobel laureate and world-class scientists. It's the story of people who would build a 302,000 square foot facility on time and under budget to house the world's most powerful magnets. It's the story of how people working together can create the world's preeminent magnetic laboratory where a few short years before there was nothing. It's the story of the triumph of vision and faith over cynicism. When some said it couldn't be done, Lawton Child says, yes, it can, and Florida did it. 20 years later, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory continues to push boundaries that transform our world. MagLab scientists are discovering and developing new materials, exploring new energy solutions, and expanding our understanding of life. The lab itself has become a greenhouse for growing new ideas and cooperative ventures. Nobel laureates, National Academy of Sciences members, and over 1,300 scientists and engineers from around the world come to the lab each year to conduct cutting-edge research that builds the technologies of tomorrow. The National Mag Lab's pioneering magnet systems hold 14 world records. Now it is our engineers who are asked to build magnets for other labs around the globe. Today, 20 years after its dedication, the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory continues to move science forward. From building vastly more powerful magnets to serve our research community, to hosting hands-on events to nurture the next generation of scientists, 
We are growing Florida's economy, pushing the boundaries of the scientific frontier, and keeping the United States at the forefront of magnet research. Together, we are moving science forward.